Happy start of October, Junior High. Today is TV Tuesday, October 1st. Welcome to our this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Sophia. Yo, 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 Junior High, Adam here. We're so excited to be here on today's video announcements. Now let's please stand and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. Mm -hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. Please be seated. National Day! Today is National Taco Day. National Taco Day has officially moved to the first Tuesday in October. Starting October 1st, 2024, this delicious food holiday will now fall on Tuesday, Taco Tuesday to be exact. This epic announcement is part of our latest milestone in Taco Bell's ongoing Taco Tuesday journey to move National Taco Day to its Tuesday starting this year. Next, Next up, birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthday to all those celebrating today, including Judo. Laura B, Benjamin M, Emmanuel T. Have a great one, y'all. Now over to our clubs and activities oh. announcements. Okay, next. It's clubs and activities announcements time with a few important leadership information. Hey, Sycamore Junior High. I'll be here. And Casey here with some important news. We'll start with a couple of important messages from our amazing leaders. Starting with our marvelous assistant principal, Mr. Meyer. What's up, chat? Happy Tuesday. Just a few quick words to spit at you. Keep up that safe, responsible, and respectful behavior. Don't be skibbity. Be Riz and earn those points. Reminder, the PBIS store is open on Thursdays during Flex. So cash in those aura points you earned and get Pookie something fun. Also, reminder, if you're a bike rider, don't be whack and ride in the parking lot. Stay Sigma and stay on the sidewalk. Overall, everyone's behavior has been mad cool this year, especially in the hallways and the cafeteria. Keep it up so we can continue our stellar year. Have a great rest of your week, Millennial Coded and Pinky. Peace out. Thanks, Millennial Coded AP, Mr. Meyer. And just do the right thing, friends, to make our world an awesome, safe place. Now over to a very serious note from our awesome assistant principal, Ms. Helms, on school computer usage awareness. Another announcement. Anything you search for on a Sycamore school computer, weapons, self-harm, drug use, anything that is not school appropriate is automatically reported to the office. If you need help and would like to talk to an adult, please see your counselor. Thanks, Ms. Helms, and students, talk to your counselors if you need help. Now on to our clubs and activities announcements. Not much new, but a few reminders. Robotics team, remember, the 8th grade robotics team, that's 8th grade robotics team, only 8th graders, will meet tomorrow, Wednesday, October 2nd, after school until 5 p.m. Partners club, they'll have their first meeting tomorrow, also on Wednesday, October 2nd, with Miss Lisa in room 1260. Partners Club will continue to meet the first Wednesday of each month from 3 to 4 p.m. For any questions, contact Miss Lisa at chrisbell at sycamoreschools.org. The next yearbook club meeting will be this Thursday, October 3rd, during Flex in Miss Spielman's art room, room 2155. This will be our rescheduled photo workshop. Grab a flex pass for the meeting in room 2155. Your book club is still accepting new members. Email Miss Spielman if you are interested in joining or just attend Thursday's meeting. Spirit Wear orders will be extended to October 3rd. If you need an order form, stop by Miss Spielman's art classroom. Hope to see you there. Did you find ducks? Over to our flight crew for a special reminder. I'm Dylan and I'm from the flight crew. Flight crew would hide some small little ducks. Most of them are going to be yellow. And if you find one, bring it home. Make it, hopefully it makes you feel happy and fulfilled. But if you find a translucent one, you can't keep that. But you could return it to Mr. Rodriguez at 1261 and redeem a prize. Doesn't that sound pretty cool? Well, that's all I got from, from the flight crew today. See ya. Thanks, Dylan. Now get up there and find those ducks. 
And remember, if you find a translucent duck, you can take it to Mr. Rodriguez in room 1261 for a special prize. Now over to our Students of the Week. Um, I'm Mrs. Helms. I'm here to celebrate our Students of the Week. We have here Andrea Macame. She earned Student of the Week from Mrs. Deaton. Andrea is an incredibly kind student who put so much thought and effort into her work. Mrs. Schaff and I are so lucky to have her in class. Congratulations. Next up, I have Natalie Rapp. Natalie was chosen by Mrs. Derbyshire. Natalie has done an amazing job adjusting to the high expectations at the junior high. Her work ethic is top notch and she leads by example daily. She advocates for herself in a polite manner, mature manner. It is evident that Natalie will only continue to shine at, as the year continues. I am proud to be her teacher. Congratulations. And finally, I have Max. Max was recognized by Mr. DeVictor. It was incredibly difficult to pick just one student, but Max is a wonderful addition to our class. Every day he acts as a leader, pushing and encouraging his classmates to do their best. He is patient and kind and has a great sense of humor. Best of all, he's always down to talk about a book he's reading. I can't wait to see how he grows throughout the year. So congratulations, and thank you guys for being so respectful and responsible in the classes that you were awarded. Yeah. And those are our students of the week. Thanks, AP Miss Helms, and wow, congratulations to our students of the week. Now over to Mr. Stern with Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here to do this week's Athletes of the Week. But before we do that, just want to do a uh, quick shout out to the seventh grade football team. They had a tremendous win last week. Uh, they went to Mason on their homecoming. Um, they actually had a parade that was going on during their game. And uh, not only did they score 22 points against Mason, they shut them out. So it was a 22 nothing win against Mason. Congratulations. If you win no games in a season, but you beat Mason, it is well worth it. So, but they have won games this season. Um, we are getting into GMC play this week. I had an opportunity to visit the tennis players. We're filming this on Monday. I know you're watching it on Tuesday. Um, it has been a rainy morning for them. Uh, they had um, individuals out with leaf blowers trying to dry off the courts. I know they did get started. I don't know if they'll finish today, um, but that's a great team, that girls team that is uh, competing for a GMC championship. And uh, also this week, the volleyball teams, girls volleyball, they will start their uh, competition uh, for GMC championship. They actually begin on Saturday. Getting into our Athletes of the Week, I am here with Savannah Blackmore. She is a member of our girls golf team and we were kind of just having a quick conversation. Her golf coach has been here so long, he was my eighth grade math teacher many, many, many years ago. So uh, Coach Alexander is quite the legend around here. But let's talk about Savannah and it says this week's girls golf athlete of the week is seventh grader Savannah Blackmore. Savannah has led her team to an untarnished 8-0 record. And if I'm not mistaken, girls golf, not only are they undefeated this year, they have not lost in multiple years. Yeah, I think as of homecoming, it was 24 -0. So 24 straight wins for the girls uh, uh, golf team. And they will be in GMC tournament next week. Um, an untarnished 8-0 record and has been the medalist. That means she had the lowest score in every match in, that you've played. That's pretty amazing. She is an outstanding ball striker and has improved in every phase of the game. In addition, she has provided uh, the team to be a great role model um, as the team prepares for their bid to win this year's GMC championship. Congratulations, Savannah. That's awesome. So here's your certificate and Chick-fil-A on us. That's Thank awesome. Clap, 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 clap. And our boys athlete is Max Freyricks, and Max's coach is Coach McDonough. Uh, coach McDonough is one of three coaches that actually coaches three sports. Did you know that Coach McDonough does three sports? No. Do you want to guess? Do you have any idea what sports Coach McDonough does? Soccer and lacrosse. Um, he does basketball, and he does do girls lacrosse. So uh, those are the three sports that he participates in. 
Max Freyricks. Max has had his two best scores of the year and the second best scores for the Sycamores team in recent consecutive rounds. Typical for Max. When it's game day, he puts on a good performance. Hard to believe, but Max really just took up the game seriously this year. And while he doesn't hit it the furthest, he knows how to stay steady and score. Max is even-tempered and always has a smile on his face. He's happy to listen to the coaches for help as well. He puts in extra time and is there for his teammates, and he knows how to have fun. He should be proud of his accomplishments. Congratulations. That's awesome from Thank Coach you. McDonough. Take a shake of the hand. Yeah. Take a for you. And you're welcome. You're welcome. And our last athlete of the week is not a golfer. She is a cheerleader. And for those of you who don't know, and correct me if I'm wrong, you guys practice until 6 o'clock yeah. every night. And uh, that most teams go till 5 o'clock. Some go to 5.15. But this group, I mean, they are at it night after night after night till 6 o'clock, uh, which is uh, uh, quite a commitment. But you guys have won quite a few awards mm -hmm. outside of, of Sycamore, going to competitions and whatnot. Yeah. So definitely great, great squad of cheerleaders we have here. The Athlete of the Week for 7th Grade Cheer is Mallory Asquith. Mallory has a great attitude, works hard, and shines through her spirit. Her willingness to take feedback and put time outside to practice uh, makes her continually improve and stand out. If she doesn't hit the routine the first time, she is determined to get it the next time. She leads through positivity and work ethic in order to make the squad better. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Brilliant. certificate. Thank you. And also, we want to make sure that you are well fed. So enjoy Chick fil A Thank on you. us. And those are our athletes of the week. Thanks, and that is so awesome. Congratulations to our athletes of the week. Way to go, way to work hard, and represent our school. Well, that's all we have. Enjoy your day, follow PAS expectations. Back to our crew. Thanks, crew. Now for the, the joke, joke of, of the, the day. day. Where does the military keep their armies? I don't know where. In their sleeves. Ha 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 ha